Hi everyone, it's Carol here from stampingground.co.uk and we have this lovely um, gift bag that I'm going to show you how to make. The only difference from the one you saw was I've put two uh, holes in this one uh, rather than one where you could hang it if you needed to. Um, a lovely size, uh, fits fit lo a lot of um, either chocolates, little gifts, uh, etc. and would make a lovely uh, table favour. So we shall um, get started. So we need a piece of uh, designer series paper, nine inch by five, a white piece of cardstock measuring four by four and a white piece measuring nine by two inch. So we just need to do a little bit of scoring. So on the four by four, you're going to score at one inch on all four sides. And then that's all the scoring uh, done. Now, depending on which way you do it, you can either now fold and burnish the score lines or you can cut and then fold later. I'm going to cut first. So you're just going to cut up to the first score line and just take a small uh, notch out on either side. And you're going to do this on all four, uh, all four corners. I prefer now to um, cut rather than score first, uh, only because I think it's easier to uh, cut on the line rather than um, when you've folded it. So I'll just grab my bone folder. A little bit more fiddly sometimes because um, you've done uh, all the cutting. Um, but it's not that bad. There we are. I've just got a little... There must be something on my table. I've got a little mark on it, but you're not going to see it because it's actually uh, inside. So we just need to pop a little bit of glue. Again, on all four corners. And it's, it's very, very easy to do this bag. <clears throat> not very difficult at all. So we're going to fold all our corners in and just make sure that you get a nice straight line uh, on the edge. I know I've put my fingers in the glue. And it's a really good glue that it's very, very sticky, but the only problem is, is if you put your fingers in it, um, it makes them very sticky. So that's how we're inside of, um, of the box done as well. So we're going to take our designer series paper now. Now, if you wanted to make this uh, box taller, Instead of five inch, you can make it six, seven, eight inch. Um, would fit a nice um some of the mini gins in. Um. So, once you've done one, um, like I say, you can just um, if you want it taller, just make it uh, make your paper longer. Not longer, sorry. <laughs> make your paper taller. So along one of the long edges and one of the short edges, we need the tear and tape. And then we're going to add, um, just along the top, we're going to add tear and tape uh, all the way around this box. And I would suggest rather than, you could do glue, but 
Um, you'll see in a minute why it's uh, probably easier to use um, the tear and tape. So once we've got all this on, we need to take the top off, um, off the tape. I can't find the tool I want, so I'll use um, I'll use my scissors. And the paper uh, designer series paper I'm using is um, called Bows of Holly. Uh, a lovely paper um, and I think the only piece I don't like is this one that you can see here <laughs> um, but the other side is uh, is beautiful so now the actual um, we don't want the seam on the edge of the box so we're actually going to move it in slightly and then you're going to follow along all along the edge just turning it i've actually um started this box um on the wrong edge you want to start turning the box on the edge that um Hasn't got any um, on tape. As you can see, I've now nothing to, um, just let me pull this off. So you need to end up with the tape um, on this edge so that you can actually, just let me, uh, just give the little, the sides a little crease. Um, So now that this end has tape on, so we're going to just, don't kind of pull it to overlap it, just press where it, um, it wants to actually sit. And if for any reason um, you've got a tiny little bit that's higher because um, you've not got it quite straight at the bottom, then you can just snip a fraction off and if you were in a hurry you could use the box like this still a pretty box um but then you can take it a step further and um, add some lovely decorations so this is where our um two by nine piece comes in i'm going to use a die from the basic uh, border dies and I'm just going to put that at the top like that and then run it through my dye machine and then I'm going to come back and show you how to add it on um, and make a longer piece. So this is the first piece run through. So I'm just going to take the dye off and then if you pop it over the first one you can actually feel it slot into the last piece that you've cut and then you want to pop it again through the machine and then we've got um oops, as you can see it matches all the way along now and then we just need to um just snip this end So we've got a bottom and a top. So along um, this piece, we want to use tear and tape again. So I'm going to put a piece along the bottom. And then I'm going to pop a piece along the top. And then we just need to take the top off um, this. And this really sets uh, the box off. Um, 
looks really pretty. This is a bit fiddly, it's kind of ripped on me. There we are. So I'm going to start where um, the seam is on the back. And then you're just going to fold it round, making it level with the bottom of the box. And it's as simple as that. And then I'm just going to cut up uh, near where the seam is. You can overlap it, but it kind of nearly matches this. So I'm going to cut this, this piece off. There. And again, you can that you can leave it like this if you don't want to put the top um, round. So this is the only piece that we actually uh, use glue on. The tear and tapes, um, it's a little bit wide for this. So I'm going to run a line of glue and then just a tiny dot in each of these uh, little, um, I'm not sure what you call them, little hills. <laughs> And no, you've got it upside down. <laughs> so just go all the way around. And again, um, you can snip it, uh, snip the end off. And then just go back round, making sure um, it's stuck all the way round and you've not got any gaps. So that um, that's our box finished apart from uh, the ribbon. Now, as I said before, I just put um, one punch hole in there and uh, tied a bow because you can put, you can undo the bow and you could actually hang it somewhere. Uh, but if you, if you weren't going to hang it, you can put two punch holes in and, um, and just tie a bow. Uh, so I've added two. Um, I didn't measure. I just eyeballed it. And um, I just put two uh, punch holes in there. So I'm now going to thread a uh, ribbon through. And then... Just pull it through and then go through uh, the next one. There we are. And then, and I always waste a ribbon. Just, I always worry that I won't have enough um, so just make a nice bow. And then all we need to do is add our decoration after that. So cut the edges um, to the length that you want them. And, uh, and there's our, um, our bag box, whatever you want to call it, done. Now I've used these this these two pieces from Decorated with Happiness and I've used Evening Evergreen and um Soft Succulent. Um and I think it looks lovely in these two colours. I've also used the Candy Canes and the Merry and Bright Sentiment from here. So again, just stamp them and die cut them out. And to attach them to the bag, I've used um, glue dots. So add the glue dots to the back of um, the leaves and 
just place them either side on the front of uh, the bag. Obviously, you can put whatever decoration you want. Um, oop, the ribbon's getting in, <laughs> in the way here. Yeah? And then add the candy canes over the top. I forgot just to add um, a dimensional onto the back of, uh, of here. So that's um, our bag finished. So I do hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you um, enjoy making the bag. I know lots of you are waiting, have been waiting for the tutorial. And as usual, um, all my links are in the description bar below the video um, if you want to get on my site or anything like that. And I'll be back very soon with another project for you. So until then, um, have fun making this and I'll see you soon. Bye.